What's up Legacy Lake? How you doing? I'm Living Legacy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a GFX without the use of Blender. Now I know that everyone, a lot of people find Blender extremely hard to use and I want to show you how to make it without Blender. So this is not my idea originally. I have found this idea from um, a YouTuber called Elish Q, which I'll leave a link to her channel in the description box below to check her out. Um, and I'm going to show you guys an example of some of the GFX that I've done. Um, this is the first one. As you can see, isn't it beautiful? Um, so this is the first one. Then um, this is the second one. This is my very first one that I did. Um, and it still looks pretty good, doesn't it? I always put some sort of text because it makes it look a little bit more less empty. But um, what we're going to do is you're going to go to develop. to go to develop and open up a base plate. Once you're in here, you can um, like move around and stuff. So we're going to make a little GFX right now. All right, let's see. Does this, has this work yet? Yeah, nope. All right. Um. So you, I've already opened up Roblox Studio right now, and Roblox is a lot easier to use than like Blender and other. Apps. The app that we're going to be using today, other than Roblox Studio, is already inbuilt in any Windows computer. So first, what you want to do is you want to go to Plugins, and you want to go to Load Character. If you don't have this yet, you can just search in Load Character in the search bar in your in your in Roblox Home and go to Library. Then you can find Load Character in the Plugin se Plugin section. You're going to click on this, and it says Already Pro. What you're going to do is you're going to oops, Okay, and we're going to put in your username. I'm not going to put my username because my username, my character itself looks really bad. So I'm just going to put a really well-known um, GFX creator's username, Maddie. Um, you know what, actually I might put my own because um, maybe, I don't know. I'll try to. Um, okay, so let's just wait for my thing to load up. Oh wait, I don't like my new character. I changed it and I hate it, so I'm not, I might have to change it back again. Let's just put Maddie. All right. Um, we're gonna press spawn R15. If your if your character is like like very thin body, like the woman package, then you're going to have to press spawn R15. Um, and if it has a blocky character, then press spawn R6. Okay. So as you can see, this is Maddie's character. You're going to see over here on the side. You're going to click on the name, and you're going to press backspace and press enter. Then her name will on the top will go. Now the GFX that I'm trying to make is like a bridge, so I'm going to type in a white bridge. All right, so um, let's just take in a white bridge right now. Let's just find a good bridge that I like. This one. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's an okay bridge. So I think this bridge is fine. To be honest, it's really small. But what about this one? Oh, that one's really bad. I don't like that. I think I'll take this one. Okay, so where is Maddie? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this, click on home, and click on move. Make sure the collisions and constraints are off because that'll make it move really, really smooth. Okay, so what we're gonna do is over here. Um, also, like in Alicia's video, I'm probably pronouncing it so wrong, but I'm doing it a little bit more different. Um, like, like there are slight, slight changes. Um, and a slight new things that I'm introducing to it, but we're now going to click rotate and we're going to rotate it so that it stands like this. I'm just going to move it a little bit more up because, yeah, okay, we're going to click it over here and we're going to put it over here and there we go. So now I want it to, I want one of our hands maybe to hold the bridge or something, I don't know. I am very bad at doing that stuff, but what we're going to do is we're going to click over here, open, and you're going to click on the, uh, I'm going to first move the head a bit. We're going to click rotate, and I'm going to rotate the head just a bit, and then the hair, I need the double brown hair to also rotate. There you go. Um, now the arm, uh, I'm going to take the, um, lower arm yeah I'm going to rotate it to maybe wait hold on um yeah I guess that works 
Um, you can't really see it well. We're going to go the left hand, and you're going to rotate, and I'm going to do that way, and we're going to move it up. There we go. It already looks really good. Um, and this this already looks super good. So that is what we're going to do for what we're, we're, we're going to work out with for our GFX. All right. So what you want to do is you want to close this now and this bridge. You're going to drag it and put it. Wait, no. Yeah, you're going to drag it and put it inside Maddie. When you close it, it's only going to show the bridge should be inside the Maddie or your character's um, thing inside. It's going to be in the Explorer. Also, if this Explorer and Toolbox is not open, you can just go to View and click Explorers and Properties tab. All right, so once we're done doing that, you're going to click on this and right click and press um, Export Selection. Once you're in uh, Export Selection, hold on, it'll open up in a second. <laughs> um, yeah, and then, see, these are the ones that I've done before. I'm going to save it as uh, Aesthetic Bridge GFX and press Save. Um, and then it'll say at the bottom of the screen it says Export Selection. Now we're done, we can maybe close this up right now, but now what we can do is we can just go ahead and open up an app. This app is called 3D Viewer. So just click on like the search bar at the bottom of any Windows computer, it should be there. We're going to click on 3D Viewer. I mean, not, it's not spelling brand. It spells so bad. Okay, wait. 3D Viewer. Alright, you're going to open this up. Press open. Alright guys, so it's loaded in now and like, um, you're going to click on File and you're going to click on Open. Once you click on open, it will show up like wherever you saved your um, thing in and I'm just going to click on uh, which one? Yeah, this is the aesthetic bridge. Now it will load like this for a while and it is actually it's right here. Now I want to move so I'm going to do left, left click. I'm going to zoom. I'm going to just zoom it in a bit more. I like this already. Now you can click on any type of theme. Oh, this is so pretty. I like it. Yeah, and then you can do like the rotation. I like this. I, I think I might keep this. Yeah, I might keep this. So I'm going to keep it this way. Um, sure, why not? This, this is okay. Yeah, this is fine. Um, and then what we're going to do is... Oh, wait, I want to... There we go. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to click File, and you're going to click um, Export Image. So this is what will come up. Then you're going to... I'm going to put in Transparency because I want a good background for this. You can put whatever size and resolution you want. And I'm going to pr press Export. Um, sure, I'm going to put it in right here. Um, I don't even mind what's on the screen right now. <laughs> I don't even have any words for it. But uh, I'm just going to type in aesthetic bridge with transparent parent background. And we're just going to save it. Um, and now that it's saved, you're going to go to your um, well, Pixlr and you're going to click on close. I'm going to click on close because uh want to press open image and and we have this i like this a lot more yes yeah, a little a little pixelated image but it doesn't really matter for me let me click image to find the picture that i saved and just resize the wait just resize the image until it like matches your thingy I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. I actually like this a lot. Yeah, I'm going to save it this way. Um, and I'm also going to... Hmm. Let's do like some sort of... 
well i'm gonna just put some like overlays i usually do this a lot because it makes the picture look a lot like a lot prettier so we're just gonna put in some overlays oh 